it's pretty basic and I can kind of understand when it happens. You would think that I was describing uh, some cre cretin or some moron, but it could happen to you, basically, or me. It could, um, basically, words, meaning gets subverted uh, through taboos and colloquial contortion. The, uh, the, the, the source would be a powerful tool to battle addiction. Um, and it is because, uh, with the sorcery going on, it's like you kind of need it to be able to decide whether or not these drugs are for you or not, um, you know, like where, it, where it's, you can get around anything in legal lease terms. Uh, I'm not saying you can talk your way out of sentences or, or crimes, but I'm saying is that you can talk your way out of sentences and crimes because they, they, it's, they're already charged with, facilitating a court to schedule containers. Um, but I mean, so like, I will not be able to talk my way out of charges if I, if let's say I had crack bag in bags or something. You know what I mean? Cause like, you're not supposed to want to, if you know a better way, you're not supposed to want to poison your community. But there are people that get charged with responsibilities of wielding and guns and they're really young, like 15, 14, 15, 16. And in coming at, um, you know, this better way idea when you see a better way, you take off in this direction or that direction. A lot of people may agree with you that that's the right direction and we're on the same path. But to come to some simple ter terms that uh, some terms that, um, simple terms that you can agree on, uh, it could get, can, convoluted like the, the, there could be a different assignment or value placed on a single shared uh, term What's that? so when you have to come to some simple terms with someone to see if you're on the same path and coming out a word from every angle in legalese a change the definition is sorcery and you shouldn't be wanting to do that all day in a courtroom. You should be planning uh, th things that can contribute to a platform or a position, a little bit of upward mobility. And, and you, even knowing that it's not the end all be all because upward mobility has to lead to something else. It would be kind of anticlimactic if it was, you know what I'm saying? And it's, there's a reason it's called upward mobility because is leading to something else. Um, I mean, I might think I know what that is, but I don't want to make that up for everybody. <coughs> <coughs> because some, <coughs> some things happened that contributed to my perspective that I see um, that culminating into something else. And I don't have to force upon anybody that's the same, to take the same meaning uh, that I have, or whatever it is that comes after that. You, you have to kind of be searching for the good word or what's really good. You have to kind of, like, to to be sane, to be normal. You have to be kind of, like, wondering what's really good, considering that there's so much bullshit. Um, so...
So there's like little contextual traps that have you wasting a lot of time and energy. Um, when somebody that's on your team is not going the same direction that because you can use words to only get so far, then you have to know that there's unwritten laws and unspoken truths. You just have to know that so that you can see how something sits with you or just how it sits with you instead of rationalizing somebody's made up science that is only convenience based in convenience the the modality would really be you taking your energy and doing something else with it so you wouldn't even be able to speak on it. You wouldn't even be able to address the modality, the modality because the energy, the push of the modality, you're supposed to know where it's going. Now, why am I talking like this? Because I can know exactly which technology can be used for censorship resistant and being coming eventually censorship proof and having a platform. I just can't, since when I start talking about what that technology is, it just pisses everybody off. They think they're having a crypto discussion. Now, if I tell you that the Mona Lisa is a non-fungible art, the Louvre would be the platform, hypothetically, but just to get you thinking, Magic the Gathering is a full Turing ecosystem. And you put those together with an uh, explorable keys to an operating system, which is not anything that we can't do with a blockchain technician, hire a, a gaming studio, rent something just or find the platforms that are already designed to, <coughs> to help you uh, release a non-fungible art, basically. It could be just your product, a physical back, a ticket uh, to a show, a record, some interactive art, right? And about, now I start talking about stuff, people don't know what it is and they get mad and they don't like people talking about stuff they don't know about and they start calling me the fucking idiot. I'm telling them because I like I like them. Like I'm only doing this subjecting myself to your condemnation prior to investigation and group think shit and staying filthy and being um censored and whatnot. I'm only subjecting you to what I think can help you because I like you. I like I already like your show. But you know, I mean, you, the, the, they they want to they, they want to see if you're really a, about that life. Then what? So what if the chat gangs up on you a little bit and they want to agree with them and everything? They're warming up to you slowly. They're warming up to me like like the. I don't even like expect it. I don't even care or think too much of you if you don't or do. Or, you know what I mean? Like I'm just gonna say what I know. But anyway, it's like I'll be getting like maybe like oh you're a bot. I mean, some shit like, man, you just better chill, man. Because you're only thinking about making money and you be like making, you only think about getting rich. I can't even say making money. Because I really got to explain this shit is like so deep in the psyche. And I go through everything in other videos. And I told you, I mean, I could try to tell somebody through the use of videos, how all this shit comes together. You can't fucking believe me, but... You wouldn't, I mean, you wouldn't know that I was steeped in a catalog and you wouldn't be able to, you would, because I know where all this shit comes from. It's just how do you Fourier into the synopsis? Like, how do you just open up those realms? This is going to give you a snippet and there's not enough time for me to make a video that long. Now, the technology, right? You're thinking of it as crypto. Um... I'm thinking only of hobbyism on a fringe basis with small groups of people that can relate to a certain narrative, tokenize a narrative, 
release the NFTs cheaply. All you want is the functionality. We're not trying to get rich. Now, uh, I, if you want only to be enriched, that's okay. That's perfectly okay. But you can't always be focused on is getting loot, making riches, getting riches. Um, the reason why people can't understand this shit is because they think that we're corrupting the money. But you can't fold up money and put it in your pocket because it's a term that comes from a correlation of the moon eye uh, regarding the waxing and the waning of the moon and the waxing and waning of wealth and those who pursuing knowledge being wealthy, those who pursuing wealth having it wane, like the moon wanes, right? So they call it the, the correlation is called the moon eye. And that's not a tangible thing. That's ethereal. You can't fold it up and put it in your pocket. The best attempt at holding currency is making coins. If you try to hold currency, your muscles will contract. Okay. You'll elbow somebody really hard. You'll give, you'll give them a really good, strong elbow. <laughs> you just crush them. Because you, you won't be able to stop your muscles from con contracting. I understand you. I'm not pissed at you, niggas. I'm just saying, like, you gotta stop thinking, like, talking about the man being unfair or talking, you know what I'm saying? That shit is gonna do anything. Like, if there's, the man is more, unf apparently more unfair than you're willing to acknowledge. So, you're gonna have to do some something. You're gonna have to learn about some shit. And, like, um, I don't want to put it to you like this is an insult or anything because I do the same thing for, for close ones and loved ones, right? But for just random people, like, I could strategically plot gifts, how to sneak you upward mobility in the form of money. Like, I can, not money, but basically you have to change the fundamentals of the capital, it's capital. It's not currency. It's not money. It's capital. You have to try to make gains against it because you're forced to use it. No, we could change the fundamentals of it. Deperson from it, have services, have everything autonomized. It's all coming regardless of you helping or not. I'm just saying for the hobbyists, for those niche groups that are being censored, like there is technology that you can use right now um, to release and you can do it in stages like a version of a beta version um pre-sale concept art concept uh, uh game theory white paper you know this is like there's gonna be people that knows how to does this help help you just have to strike while the iron is hot you have to be ready and willing to see the opportunities seize on them i mean it's not it's not something like i would be talking about if it wasn't possible to do on a on all different on all different kinds of levels where you don't even you could just sit in your apartment um but basically so you know and i don't feel like i'm being dismissed i feel like uh where it comes to things that people don't know about their just they're blocking my message because I would only allow them to talk to or to speak to the 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 concepts of, or the ideas. They don't talk to me. Then I and I don't talk to them. I'm speaking to a condition. I'm speaking to progress. I'm speaking to uh, different ethereal entities that I feel like they have precedent or something, then I, uh, people, uh, people allow me to speak to that. You're a conduit, right? And then when you can fully eloquate the circumstances that you find yourself living under, you can, and you can, um, what's it called? Influence nature. So you can, you can, um, what's it called? You can uh, change the, the uh, let me say the output. I don't want to say output. <clears throat> it's the effect that energies have on you. You could change them to be like a, instead of burning you, to be able to quench your thirst instead of burning you. 
I'm not saying you have to do it the same way I do either. This is just one way. It's really just one way. There may be several ways that you can't afford not to pay attention to. To bring together one thing, which would be censorship resistant and a immutable, transparent uh, platform, right? Aspects of immutability, immutability and uh, aspects of uh, immutability with a uh, trans transparency where it's needed and encrypted end over end encryption where it's needed as well right that's not we're not going to mars you know what i mean we're not going to mars you know it's like you people get mad because i don't have enough time to uh tell them about similar interests niche hobbyist things for them to even know that I'm not trying to uh, co uh, corrupt or degrade the authenticity of an art form. I'm just trying to say there's other lanes and it, things roll over into new paradigms. And you can preserve, you can even use it to preserve the way that this, that these items are, are managed and how they get distributed and and things but they this themselves stays the same it's just a that would just be a physical backing right i would just be backing something up physical now the non-fungibility of the mona lisa doesn't mean that you can't sell it and buy land and yachts or whatever it just means that it's no dollar amount or no other object that you can say is equal or equal value that you could trade it Uh, and the and why I bring up Magic the Gathering because they have a full Turing ecosystem, which expresses governance. You know, like you have power to affect the way that uh, a project gets uh, rolled out and how uh, they uh, decentralized aspect is managed. How the how they become. Uh, extended to everybody immutably, you know what I mean? Transparently, fairly, trustless based, peer to peer, right? So when I talk about those things, people think, oh, crypto, oh, scam. No, like all the thing is, cryptos have the responsibility bearing upon them to accomplish those things that I just outlined. And they're not all gonna do it. So what? Do you gotta get raped by every fucking rug pull? And hit every balcony on the way down, you know what I mean? Just because you want to, you know what I'm saying? It's just throwing the baby out with the bathwater. You're just jumping out the window because it's an earthquake. And it's like, yeah, we know the money is fucking highly, seems to be inflationary, inflationary, you know, but different venues and avenues outside of the monetary system that employ, uh, digital uh, uh, checks and balances and a ledger system has nothing to fucking do with corrupting the, uh, the, the providence of your money at all. You're just stupid, you don't know anything. I will really straight up tell you, you just don't know shit. It's not how I feel. It's not like, like you're dismissing my information. I have shit that I have to tell you that you just don't know about. You, I can't even hold you accountable. I, I have to pity, I just feel pity. Because I feel like you like would be like really excited about this shit. Or somebody you know might be excited about that shit. You lift their spirits. Maybe you do it to lift the spirits of your people. Then if I look at you like you're not interested in this shit, you don't want to uplift your people, that's fine. But don't fucking call me an asshole. You know what I mean? Because I got a rip in my couch. I don't got to fucking pull out like physical fiat dollars to tell you that I have access to some liquidity that I could do a little bit more than some people. I'm waiting on something important. I'm waiting on something where it's gonna count, where it's gonna fucking count. So I'll sit on a couch with a rip on it. I'll do that. I ate off the fucking dumpster. Y'all don't know me. I went without for, I fucking slept in tents when I slept in a tent when I had a job, when I could afford an apartment because it was just not go going anywhere. I subjected people to a lot of fucking irritation 
and fucking and chiding and fucking I was abrasive sometimes because they couldn't understand me. There's people do what they're willing to do to fucking get by and I don't want to live day to day. I don't even want to live week to week or month to month. I want to live biannually. No, I, you know, I can't really talk to crap or anybody who is already living biannually or really, be, you know, poke them out and be like, oh, make sure that you are. Because I don't know if they're, I mean, you're seeking, you're fucking looking for something. There's that. As long as you're seeking, I can't really tell you what your net worth's going to be. You're waiting for advantageous, uh, expeditious, speedy. You're waiting for something expeditious. You're waiting for something... Your speed, like, like that's all. Mm. It's, I don't know. Like, some people, they don't have time. Some people, they do have time. But they would rather complain. They would rather just complain about shit. Kind of, kind of call it Wednesday. Everybody gets touchy. And then they got to act like you're mad. Like, you just dismissed my information. You can't dismiss me. You know, you act like, <clears throat> like I'm crying about crypto. I don't need crypto to go right anymore, you dumbass. Like I don't need it. To, I don't. There's no nothing that I need crypt any assets to do for me. You you might disagree. You might say upgrade your set your st your standings and everything. But what upgrades my standings is not what you see around getting a flyer couch, uh, getting a nicer uh, gaming studio chair or something. Shit doesn't mean nothing to me, and it shouldn't mean anything to you. What the fuck? Cause are you tripping? Like, people get sick. Pe people who are provident, who have always, always provided, they could get sick and nobody might take care of them. Now, do you want to fucking sit around on your fucking thumbs then all the time and then have nothing but con condolences to offer them, nothing but consolation? Fuck that shit. I'm just thinking now, like, it, as long as I'm alive, you better be doing something. You better be trying to do something. And it looks pitiful if you are able-bodied and capable and you're not. Like, the fuck? Man? You want to walk around in the sun all fucking smacked out of your fucking cotton-picking mind and fucking, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen grown-ass men walking around with their ass out, like, weren't, like thinking they can wear a tutu and, and people are supposed to warm up to them and some shit. I don't know. That's probably the worst example. Probably the worst example or something. Like, no, that shit is not funny. I get a fucking. Whew. It's not even like you're not even entertaining or anything. You're just making people alert, acutely aware of the danger of getting fucking. I don't know. Fond like fondled or something like fucking. Dying people. Fucking. So I just want to raise my standings up enough where I have a perimeter, like a perimeter, because I'm not even, like my kids, if I have kids, they're not even supposed to see those assholes. You know, like, it's, they're not even supposed to be anywhere to even see them. It's like, you're crazy. You should have taken them out the community or anything. Or were you sitting on your fucking thumbs, listening to, don't listen to Benny and Junebug, dude. They don't know shit. They, they like, they, I mean, they, they be happy in jail. They're happy to go to go back to jail. Fuck, man. It's so much crazy. I'm in so much bullshit. I don't know any smart, really smart people. I know wholesome people. I know good, lots of that. But I don't know any people that are savvy that could teach me anything that I could use. <sighs> it's where it's like I have dignity and not making my problems other people's problems. And I know for... The rest of my life, that I would never have to worry about that. Just can't, you just, I guess you can't just be all the time thinking about that. Because I guess at some point in time, you're going to have to humili humble yourself to let services be rendered upon you and everything because you're going to leave, you know, a rotting corpse to poison the, the water source and everything. That's why it takes a village and you're not, you're supposed to be gravitating towards the wa the waterways and everything. You're supposed to be around where there's a fresh source of water and seek it out. It just so happens that you're going to contaminate it too. 